Hi, I'm Ross from Coombsmith 150 Group Property Accountants and just going to go through some real basics today. Um, just some basic numbers more than anything else and it's all about interest rates. Um, so what I'm looking at today is just the basic maths of what happens with the different interest rates. So obviously a key thing, none of us really have a clue what's going to happen with interest rates. None of us have a crystal ball. None of us know what's going to happen. There is no perfect answer. Um, yeah, the, no, no one knows what's going to happen. But what we can look at the different scenarios. So if we sort of start in the middle with the two-year rates, at the moment, if you look on interest.co.nz, two-year rates about 2.9%. So your alternative for that is obviously one year. So say you do one year at 2.55 now. For it to equal 2.9 over those two years, you'd need the second year to be 3.24 or an increase of 0.69%. So you need to think about what you think will happen in a year's time and what do you think that one year rate will do. Um, but yeah, that's so if you thought that interest rate was going to be a lot higher, then obviously fixing would make sense and not necessarily the two year rate. Um, if you thought the interest rate was going to be a lot lower, then potentially the one year rate could be a lot better. And it's all based on your prediction. No one else knows exactly. No one can tell you exactly what to do. No one can give you a crystal ball. Three years, similar. For it to, you're looking at 3.25 um, over three years, roundabout from interest.co.nz. Um, so yeah, your interest rate would have to go 2.55 for a year, then 3.25, then 3.95, and that would be your 3.25% average over the next three years. So an increase of 0.7 and then 0.7. If you look at the five years, um, yeah, the same, you're about 3.8% for five years. So you'd need the interest rate to go, yeah, basically increase 0.6% each um, year. So 2.55 to 3.15 to 3.75 to 4.35 to 4.95 over the next five years. And that would give you 3.75, which is actually slightly below the 3.8, but it gives you a really good idea of what the interest rates would need to do. And that need to go up about 0.6% consistently every year. So again, if you thought interest rates were going to go up more than that, then you'd look at fixing for five years. If you needed the security and you just need to know what they're going to be, you can't afford to take a gamble, then again, you'd look at fixing long term. Um, so to me, with these ones, to me, there's three options here. There's only actually one of these I would ever take. Um, and the reason for that is, to me, you're sort of looking at the best rate, which is the one-year rate, or you're looking at long-term stability. And a two-year does not give you long-term stability. A three-year, oh, not really. Maybe you could bring in a little bit of three-year, but it's not really giving you long-term security. The only one that's really giving you the long-term security is the five-year. Um, so yeah, I'd generally be looking between the one and the five years, or potentially you could do some of each. It just depends on your risk situation and what you think is going to happen. But to me, two or three years, if you're looking at selling in that period, maybe um, but otherwise it's a higher cost um, yeah and it's uh, it's a short period it's not giving you that long-term protection um, so I wouldn't yeah I'm not a big fan of either the two or three year so hopefully that's given you a little bit of information um, and hopefully that's given you something to think about thanks a lot bye